This video will show you how to find stable URLs for web pages and media found on the web. These stable links are not only useful for citing web sources in MLA 8, but will also help ensure that you can get back to the web resources you are saving or archiving for any reason. So what are you looking for? Well, most websites that have stable URLs will not explicitly direct you to them, but one of the best places to find them is in the area at the top of the page or on the side where the tools for sharing the article you're reading or the video you're watching are located. On news websites, there will often be a selection of symbols for Facebook, Twitter, and email, possibly among others, for sharing. One that often leads to a stable URL is the share button. Here it is an arrow pointing to the right with a curved tail. And this is the New York Times website. And if you click on this button, it opens up a box that gives you all sorts of options for sharing the articles. And at the bottom of the box, it has a URL that is labeled permalink. That is another term for a stable URL. So if you are creating a bibliography or works cited page, you can simply copy the part after the HTTP with the colon and two slashes and copy it and paste this URL into your document. This is also the URL that I would want to use if I wanted to return to this article for any reason, as it is stable and it will not change or be reassigned to another web page on the site at a later date. Of course, for archival purposes, I would copy the entire link, including the HTTP and the slashes. Now let's take a look at a YouTube video. Here you can see the same symbol on YouTube videos. So if I want to get the stable link to this fabulous tune, that I cannot play here due to copyright laws, I click the share arrow and all of my options for sharing the video pop up. The URL that appears in this box is a stable URL that will direct you to this particular uploaded video for as long as it's hosted on YouTube. Again, for MLA citation, I would omit the HTTPS and the slashes and the colon from my citation. But if I want to send this to someone or return to it for any reason, I would copy and paste the entire address. There is another type of icon for sharing. It's this guy. As you can see, it functions exactly like the other icon, providing options for sharing. In this case, which is the BBC News website, it also provides a stable URL in the box after the text that says, copy this link. As you can see, there isn't a universally agreed upon way to label stable links, nor a universally agreed upon way to signify sharing. The last thing to remember is that most web pages, including some very reliable magazine and news sites, do not have a share button to generate a stable URL. Note that the Chicago Tribune has buttons for Twitter, Facebook, and email, but no share button with other options. In this case, simply use the URL in the address bar. If you have any questions about locating stable URLs for MLA citation, or any MLA questions in general, you can always ask a friendly librarian for help.